Tell me about this Chrysler that you listed online. I advertised it for $4,000. Uh, the Blue Book is approximately about 5800 at the time. We kind of made an agreement that since he was a mechanic, I had a Bentley that needed a part to make the air conditioner work. Okay, but before we get there, he responded to this ad and then decided to come to your home to look at the Chrysler specifically. Correct. He's looking at the Chrysler, and what was the conversation about the Chrysler? The conversation was, it, it overheats. He asked me, does it overheat often? I said, well, no. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I drove it an hour to a casino, and it was fine. Yet a day after, I drove it a block, and it overheated. So he wanted to take it on a test drive. So we went on about a 30 minute test drive and it did not overheat. He kind of scared me a little bit by telling me the engine block is probably cracked and uh, the car is no good. Is that how you remember it, Mr. Sanchez? No. Okay, tell me. No, we went for a drive about five minutes. I five see minutes it. versus 30? Yeah. It's quite we a went difference. for like five minute driving. I wanted to see how hot it got. Because he did tell me to get hot, but it didn't get hot as fast. But I explained to him that I probably had a blown head gasket. That's why it's overheating. And you could tell all of that with a five-minute drive? No, it just he explained to me. I checked the, the oil and everything. It looked like there was a bit of water in the oil. In your complaint, Mr. Prieto, you say that you sold a car for $1,000. And in your answer, Mr. Sanchez, you said that you got the sale price down to 1100 Yeah. Which is it? You can see uh, Exhibit B. Basically, I wrote it out that it was $1,000 plus the repairs and labor for the two automobiles. Right where he was looking at the Chrysler, right behind that Chrysler, I had my Bentley parked. He inquired about it, asked if he can see the motor because he was a mechanic and he realizes that Bentleys have big motors. I went ahead and opened the hood. He says, wow, that's huge. I said, yeah, it's a 6.7 liter. And right away, he says, are you having trouble with your air conditioning? I said, actually, uh, yes, I am. He says, you need this part. It's no good. And that's when I decided, hey, well, maybe we can make a deal. If you fix the air conditioning in a Bentley and fix the window in the Porsche that's sitting in the so driveway. A Bentley and a Porsche that correct. needed some work. Exactly. And so, according to you, the agreement was, I will reduce the price on the Chrysler if you fix these two issues on the Abs car. Yes. Okay. That was the agreement. Mr. Sanchez, did you see a Bentley and did you see a Porsche? Yeah, I seen it. He asked me to look at it, but I'm not going to fit your car for because I'm buying this car. Y'all helped us out by having a contract. So in writing, it says, I, Ralph Prieto, sell a 2006 Chrysler 300 to Carlos Sanchez for, and it says $100. That was a typo because we were talking about the Bentley and it was right behind us. But it's very clear that the 800 in cash he gave me plus the 200 that his, that he we'll, called his we'll wife. Get, we'll get there, we'll get there. So you say that's a typo. Yes, so it should have been one thousand. zero, correct. The cell is as is, as car needs paint job and overheats. Agreement includes two repairs of an AC compressor on a Bentley and repairing a window on a Boxster Porsche. You signed it. Our agreement, I told him that I would look at him. I'm not going to pay for all the repairs of it. I told him, bring it to the shop. No, no, but, but you agree that this yeah. is your signature that says that the agreement is to include two repairs, a Bentley and a Porsche. We more talked about it. He could bring him in, I'll look at him, but I'm not going to pay for the parts and labor for everything. That was the no. exchange, right? Like, you pay $1,000 on the Chrysler instead of four. And was it four? Was that right. what yeah. was yeah. actually online? Right. right. No. Not two? Oh, it was okay. reduced from four to three, and I believe I went down to 2,500. Is this the ad that you posted? I believe so. So it's $2,000. I must have reduced it to 2,000, but I started at four. Mr. Sanchez, you signed the contract, correct? Yeah. You read it I, and signed it. I, we, you didn't read it? it we were just, he just explained to bring, he said he'll bring it to the shop, I'll look at it. He wanted 1,100, I told him I'll give you 1,100 for it. He goes, well, can you just look at these cars for me? I said, yeah, I'll do that. So that's what I thought they were Did you give him 1,100? I gave him 1100 900 cash and 200 or something like that. Do you have proof of the cash? No, I just have the receipt? messages that he said, to, I told him I'll take, you take 100 cash. He's like, no, I'll meet you in the middle at 15. So then I went over there and then we talked. I said, look, I'll give you 1100 He said, oh, well, can you look at these cars for me? That's how the other cars came involved in that. In your answer, you made it very clear that the repairs of these other two cars, they were not a requirement per the agreement, but it was in the contract. So I'm trying to understand. You're saying you had a conversation, but I had a end, conversation with him. He was like, "All oh, right, he only ducked the car a couple, like a hundred dollars." I just told him that, you know, you can bring a bio look at. It. That's not what the contract says. Yeah. Read the contract. I didn't pay. Read the, read the contract. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want you to read it. I you see the part that says yeah, agreement I wasn't, I wasn't, includes two repairs. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to it. You weren't paying attention, and you just signed it. No, because we were talking. It was all just signed here, so I could take the cars. He could look at them. So I was like, "All right." So it's his I mean, fault that you didn't read it. <laughs> my fault. <laughs>